The nation's oldest combat veteran, Richard Overton, has lived in East Austin since 1945. And now he needs some help to stay in his home. His family is raising money for round-the-clock home health care. Fox 7's Casey Claiborne joins us live from downtown Austin with the story. Casey? Rebecca, Richard Overton has been somewhat of a celebrity these last few years. He's been the oldest veteran in the country. And the love people have for him really shows a GoFundMe account that just started a couple of days ago has really has nearly reached its goal already. I'm the oldest one. Everywhere I go, I'm the oldest person. <laughs> the oldest veteran. The oldest person. <laughs> I enjoy that. Yeah. I'm not happy over it. <laughs> 110 years is a long time. East Austin's Richard Overton has seen it all. During World War II, he spent three years in the Army, stopping in Hawaii before serving in the South Pacific. Since becoming the oldest living veteran several years ago, he's been busy. Former Governor Rick Perry visited him on his porch. Honored to meet you, sir. Honored to meet you. Yes, sir. I just wanted to come by and visit with you. And he received high honors from President Obama in Washington, D.C. And at 110, he's still doing just fine, smoking cigars. Yeah, I smell bad. Oh, I smoke about 12 a day, sometimes. maybe more than that, uh, <laughs> less than that. I ain't got nothing else to do. And drinking a little whiskey. I don't drink it. I just put it in my coffee. But I put a little of some water sometimes to drink it. <laughs> but it's, it's good. But the time has come for Overton to have 24-7 care, and he doesn't want to go to a nursing home or assisted living. He's lived in the same house since 1945. His third cousin, Volma Overton Jr., points out Overton really is doing just fine. His health is so unique, it causes problems. And the problem is as far as getting him care. Now, he doesn't need someone. He's not disabled. He's not homebound. But he needs someone to just be with him and make sure everything's all right. Volma says the VA is doing all they can do. Right, the VA can have somebody come by here three hours a day and, and, and check on him and be just to check on him. But no 24-7. The Overton family started a GoFundMe account this week with a $50,000 goal. It's quickly reaching that and may go beyond. It will break his heart and everybody else's heart for him to have to leave home. So with the love that everybody's given him on GoFundMe, it looks like Rich is going to be here from now on. And, and that <laughs> it makes me laugh. I'm happy. I'm really happy. So what, what do you think about this, this fundraiser? Your family is raising some funds for you, for, for some help. For raising some, some funds? Care. You mean they're raising funds for me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now what is funds? Money. Money. <laughs> money, money, money. So oh, you don't right. have to pay for nothing. Well, I want you to know when it's going to happen. <laughs> His sharp wit aside, Overton is thankful for those who have donated from all over the world. I'd like to say, I'd like to say I thank them. Appreciate every dime they give me. Amen. Absolutely. Absolutely. Amen. Yes. Yes. One. I love it. By the way, as of just a few seconds ago, the GoFundMe account has reached over $35,000. Remember, it was just launched on Tuesday. Volma Overton says if a home health agency ends up donating their services or something like that, or if they end up with more money than they need, they'd have to check with Mr. Overton first, but apparently he would like to give that money to Austin veterans. Back to you.